Hey, what's up? It's Kit time for another video. Today, we're talking about micro jigs. Before we get into this, if you're new to the channel and just happen to click on this video, I encourage you to actually browse around the channel and uh, see because there's actually quite a lot of videos that talk about different things in the channel. And it's more on the educational side of things rather than the, the actual fishing side. It'll help you understand a lot of things would answer a lot of questions for you guys so uh, yeah if you like that sort of thing please consider subscribing this channel talks about the hows and whys of fishing and we cover everything from big game ultralight everything in the middle including fly fishing and today's topic are micro jigs now micro jigs are kind of not new here in the uae and certainly for the rest of the world but uh there's a little bit of a backstory so before before we actually talk about the rest here let me clue you in on this one this one right here is the major craft jig para and believe it or not this is kind of the first or the the lure that actually changed things here now years ago this was geez i don't know probably about almost 10 almost 10 years or probably more than 10 years ago what happened was that while we were browsing through the products of major craft some friends and i actually saw this 10 gram jig so being friends with the owner we actually asked him if he could order a bit of these now initially he said that who's gonna buy that um quite small but we managed to convince him to actually just buy for our fishing group there was like five six of us and then we told him that if you actually uh, buy this, we, we will guarantee that we would buy each and every single one of them. So that was the first order and it was only a handful. We bought all of them, fished, found that it was very, very effective, Ke kept our mouths shut and just, you know, we were very, very quiet about its effectivity. Second order came and there were a lot more. And then finally, he just thought that, hey, maybe we should actually display this and uh share with people and funny thing was the first year or two no one really bought it and it was this specifically the 10 gram and sooner or later people started buying them and they were buying quite a lot until finally that was it people found out found the secret out and later on smaller jigs were introduced by competitors and that was it pretty much everyone was using the micro jigs i'm not saying that we started it you know there's um there's uh what do you call this there's definitely other people that have been doing it, especially in other parts of the world but there was a very distinct difference even from the start what we found out was that these actually catch big fish as they say elephants eat peanuts right but the thing with this particular jig is that it was so easy to use and quite effective that even bigger fish actually ate them and then later on you know uh, as, as uh, time passed and all that barracuda started to actually talk to major craft and upgraded the hooks and this is the reason why when you buy from barracuda there are two things that you can expect the hooks are upgraded and the eyes are red so if it's not red it's not from barracuda so barracuda as far as barracuda is concerned and all the jig paras there you'll see that all of them have red eyes which also means that the hooks are upgraded but and, and which brings us to the topic today the main topic of this whole thing okay so we have micro jigs and and at the very very start the thing that we actually really struggled with were the hooks and as you can see there's there's a lot of shapes never mind the brand here this this video is actually not brand specific but you have uh different shapes of jigs and even this one right here which is something new from major craft this is kind of like almost like an automatic lure you cast it out and you don't have to do anything special you just reel it in so the technology for these have actually gone from something that might be uh, harder to use like uh, the older style ones to something like the jig bar uh, micro that was so easy to use it was so easy to use that we were actually really catching more and bigger and then later on of course the 15 gram and the 20 gram was were, were introduced or brought in and then 
that was it. You know, you had a very effective shape, very easy to use. And now they even came up with, as you can see here, not only are, are some of these very realistic in, in uh, the, the shape, but also very realistic colors. And the action varies from those that you work on the bottom, such as these and this, you know, to, and even these, to heavier ones such as this one that actually stay in the column more because of its shape. <clears throat> so there are different types, even if they're, they're all classified into one. There's some that are very, very easy to use, a bit some that are a bit more complex, like this one from um, Sea Falcon. This is a sliding jig, so it's a very tiny sliding jig, and it really works. It's 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 a uh, it's it's not super easy to use because you have to cast it out, and for it to actually slide sideways, you have to give it a bit of slack when you're you're jigging it, and you're not jigging it constantly. And that's how it works. But once you figure it out, it's actually um, very easy to to use relatively. If once you figure it out, and um, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's actually a very good lure, and very, very effective. Now all of these that's that's the thing with micro jigs because of the size they're very very effective. Now, the problem, even if you have upgraded hooks, okay, even if you have upgraded hooks, the biggest problem is usually that they break. Now here's a very good example. Um, I've used this this a few times and it all already started fraying. So. Biggest problem there is if your hooks are rusty, where are you gonna get replacements? So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually discuss and show you what I do. Okay, so first and foremost, you just look at your hooks. Yeah, you compare them, and you could always buy aftermarket. So uh, as a reference, this is 27 dirhams. I don't know what it, that. Uh, roughly about ten dollars i would say or, or about seven or yeah about seven dollars or so um size 12 you could see that it's uh awfully close pretty much the same size actually so this you have that um size 14 also for the smaller ones just uh check to see exactly which one fits your jig but the most important thing there actually is that if your jigs uh, your hook size is 14 you can go up to 12 so you can go one or two size higher and that's that's about it and believe it or not just that little change with your trebles would actually help you out a lot already as far as the um, hook up ratio is concerned and there are some hooks that are stronger than others you have to see exactly if your where your jig is actually still moving and very still very active. Uh, there are some that have really thick hooks, uh, thick wire for the hooks. And yeah, I mean, the heavier they are, the balance get lost. Okay, because uh, you lose the balance because it's heavier at the back and it wouldn't be able to swim as well. However, if you're actually fishing in a very active bite, it might still work. Okay, now there are some times where the queen fish are boiling and each and every single time you're actually casting, they will bite. The problem with queen fish is that sometimes you'll, you'll get a mix of smaller ones and then there's just something big that would bite it. Now, if your hooks are weak, that's it. You know, you won't actually kind of have a problem there. Now, there are excellent aftermarket hooks that you could use. When you buy them, always see if they fit your jig. It's as easy as just taking your favorite jig and actually just putting it like that and you can see that it fits and then that's what you do what that's what you purchase it's it's a uh, pretty straightforward the problem is it's not always that it would fit the jig that you want so that's too short okay and this is only a 20 gram so you'd have to resort to other jigs that we that would probably fit it but not really the right um, hook configuration again even these little things would actually cost you, okay? The best solution that I've found is to actually make your own. And you'd be able to customize the length. You'd be able to customize the, the hooks that you use. And uh, in a previous video, I actually showed these hooks. And uh, in this video, I actually want to expand on that because there are better ones that you can find out there, okay? So you'll see, you see there that these are, are really small hooks designed for big fish and 
they're 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 sharp they're tough they're designed for big fish so they won't open now sometimes when you actually compromise especially when you're using stock after a few fish you'd have to uh, look for a replacement and you if you could actually look carefully here okay okay so the biggest problem here is that it could this could potentially actually kind of find its way around the groove there okay and sometimes this happens when you fish actually and then pull itself off okay there's a chance there's always a chance and it, it doesn't happen often but it happened to me quite a few times and it kind of discouraged me from using this sort of assist hook well this is good you also have to check that sometimes the factory actually puts it on backwards like that so you're not gonna hook anything there because it's always going like that and because of the width of the jig you're only shot here okay when it's like that you're only shot here as if your treble actually hooks the fish but a hook a single hook that points in like that very very difficult for you to hook anything now what you want is always to have that right there especially if you're tying off to the eye now another thing that i have a problem with here is that this is supposed to be something wherein you would have a tie uh, a tie in point here now the idea of major craft of course is for you to use a snap and if you use a snap there it goes like that i still have a problem with these assist hooks so the best way there was to actually make my own or to get an aftermarket hook that has a solid ring that you could install that's all in good okay there's there's some people that depends on budget really but you know if if you actually have the money to buy assist hooks pre-made and you can get away with the length for your particular jig that's all in good that's fine problem solved for you the problem is when you actually have odd shaped jigs that don't have a set of hooks specifically for them now these jigs are sold or some jigs are actually sold on rig and sometimes it could be that the hook is either too long or too short as you can see this is pretty good right here but there are a ton of jigs out there that there there's really no other choice and the better option is for you to actually make your own with hooks now the best way to get away or to actually find um, these hooks is to just go around your tackle shop and see what ho hooks they have on offer now sometimes they have the smaller hooks um, sometimes they don't these are alternatives that you could use and for me they actually fit really well because of the nature of the hooks themselves now these particular hooks are again made for live bait and these are kind of like for smaller tuna when when these are designed for anchovies okay these these are tiny fish that a big hook would just kill so they have these small ones that you could use and they're quite strong for their size and they're perfect for stuff like this and they're very easy to tie because they have eyes okay so for those that have a challenge when it comes to tying these things these are easier to tie because they have eyes so either you splice them or you know you you bind them or whatnot whatever method you're using they're they're just easier so again something that you could do just go to your tackle shop and then look for some hooks if you're not able to find proper jigging hooks that's it now another of those that you should actually look for would be something like these now these are different brands these are different hook shapes of course now if you happen to find some stuff like this it's again your choice on wh which one to pick but these two actually have a coating of ptfe now i believe that this is very important especially for slow uh sorry shore fishing um with these tiny jigs I believe that these things are actually very important now for me personally I use all sorts of different setups um, different brands of assist hooks and it really depends on how uh, lazy or how industrious I am that week before I fish so um, I have these hooks on stock here at home 
just so that if I want to actually build assist hooks, I, I have them on the ready. Now, these two particularly are, are quite important for me because these are what I use when the fishing's really tough and I'm fishing for that one strike. And the PTFE actually matters. Now, there are times when you don't feel the fish, but they already have it in their mouth. The PTFE actually just slides the hook in because the coating that they have is so slippery. It's so slick that once the fish has it in its mouth, the hook point will actually look for just anything to grab on. And as soon as the fish moves, the fish go inside. The reason why I don't really use them too often is also because they're very dangerous. And I have been stuck in the finger with these. And I can tell you, there's no resistance. As soon as it goes in, it goes in, okay? Um, luckily, no big accidents or whatnot, but these are fantastic hooks because when the fish, literally some fish like uh, Diamond Trevally, or sorry, uh, yeah, Diamond Trevally does it as well as uh, the Goldies. But as soon as they suck this in, the hooks go in and that's it. Okay, so different shapes. Uh, most important thing there is they have the PTFE coding and these are only available unrigged. I'm not too sure of the availability of the Chino Dukan, but definitely this is available here in the UAE. And if you can actually find them, it's uh, yeah, it's in Barracuda. So these these guys are sold in loose packs. Uh, this this particular one has um, I don't know. This is an, an open pack, I, th I think. But yeah, I mean, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I mean, there's there's plenty in a pack. Okay, um, not too sure of exactly if this is opened or not, but it looks open. But these are, are fantastic hooks. Now, thing to note, <clears throat> a lot of uh, people are fond of actually putting gl uh, glittery stuff like this uh, crystal flash on their hooks when they make them. They're nice. Uh, they, they, they do work. Okay, so sometimes when the fish are finicky, uh, they go after this. And yeah, you get a lot of bites. But see, what I found with these is that if you actually don't put the glittery stuff, they work better because um, it helps the hook just hook the fish. It helps the function of the coating to actually hook the fish. Now, if you want to put uh, your glittery stuff, that's fine. You know, um, that's it. Another thing to note is that especially with the glitter stuff there's there's two types okay there's this in different colors and then there's these okay now i know that there's very little difference between these and that uh, some people like one over the other um i'm leaning more towards these okay now for the reason that these guys are actually um as you can see there okay they they're actually uv reactive and when you're fishing in areas where it's, uh, it is, there we go. You can see that. Okay. So you can see that it's actually glowing. There we go. Boom. So UV, how UV acts is that <clears throat> in, in dirty water, they're still visible. Whereas if there's very little light in the water, you'll have a hard time or the fish will have a hard time looking for the glittery stuff. And this is also more visible from afar more than these so if you have both of them great uh you can test which one works within the day but irregardless of what you actually uh do if you haven't yet try out these micro jigs because they have a lot of advantages from getting the distance to downright fish catching ability the micro jigs especially when you're even when you're on a boat and the fishing is actually kind of difficult when you're dropping when you drop a small th uh, jig down there you will definitely get a hit and that's just this is just how these things work i've, I've caught some some pretty impressive fish with micro jigs um of all different species uh even yeah of course the ever-present barracuda but I've caught really nice grouper on very, very light line. I, I, in fact, there's, there's a, a couple of videos on uh, my Instagram TV if you're interested. But 
to see actually there's there's really a video there that where I, i'm fighting a fish we don't know what it is and then when we bring it up it's actually quite a, a good grouper and all on micro jigs so the effectivity in shallow water even in deeper water cannot be discounted and cannot and should not be ignored because these things work so if you are not using them yet uh give them a try however do take note that when you buy rigged ones like this one i mean even if it's used in japan extensively they fish for smaller fish so it's always good practice to change the hooks on your jigs um, if you make your own assist hooks even better because you can customize it according to the fish in your area again if you're not able to find hooks uh, specific for jigging like these okay these are very good options that would be it's not only this okay it would be small live bait hooks and these are live bait hooks that, that they use for fish even as big as uh, some decent sized tuna so they're good enough they're not just good enough okay they're actually very strong that you will catch bigger fish with them so just a point of note okay um that's it guys uh hope you like this discussion i know that i've actually kind of skipped this uh for some time i know that there are also a lot of people that are waiting for a video like this so i really hope that this is something useful for you again if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet please consider subscribing and uh, yeah any questions or comments uh feel free to use the uh, comments section of this video Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.